everybody. <clears throat> I thought I'd do a little bit of a show and tell of how I'm doing on the nature journal that I'm making. This is the, excuse me, this is the second one. And I'm um, going to be selling this one. So I'm just prepping. I'll just grab a few things so I can kind of show you what I'm doing um, and how far I've gotten. And I still have to do some things in these before I can sew them together. So here's the cover. <clears throat> this book is called Red Pepper's Patience. And so that was the title up here. And I liked the picture so much just because of the trees and the door that I just decided to, I didn't want to, I really didn't want to cover it up. And this is a 1917 book, I believe. And so I put some lace, <clears throat> like a crochet type of lace on the front with some eyelet lace and a little piece of brick brack. And then I sewed a button on it. So I sewed all that together and then glued it on and glued this bit of lace on and the back I just left plain. Um, <clears throat> inside I put some bow bunny paper. In the middle I reinforced it with some more uh, paper like a heavier uh, cardstock, and then um, put down some of this paper, put these over it, and then I put this piece of lace over it to keep it pretty. And then these two pieces of lace I glued in for pockets. <clears throat> so that's the cover. Same size as my blue one that I made for myself. The next thing um, the inserts, and there's four inserts. There's a total of 100 pages, <clears throat> and very much like my other one. So, but I did more stitching. So, I like I stitched around this whole piece, and I put some eyelet lace here, and um, distressed where I could. So, like this is this piece. It's a whole page and the eyelet lace is on both sides, and um, I made it a little pocket, and I stitched it on. So I tried to do a lot more stitching in this one. Here's the page from the map book, <clears throat> some coffee dyed tracing paper, coffee dyed writing paper. This is a book, a uh, page from an old book, and this is a piece of owl ribbon that I kind of just did as a fabric flip or it can be so it can be a tuck in. Um, this is another page and this I did stitching all around as well. This is some of my eco dyed paper. This is just some green graph paper I got and I just distressed it. And um, for tabs, I put two tabs per um, insert, one green and one just a beige tab. <clears throat> and some more coffee dyed paper, coffee dyed yellow ledger paper. Here is uh, some more coffee dyed, um, kind of like a construction paper actually. I thought, you know, like using construction paper would make it fall apart and it really, it didn't. This is the from the cal wall calendar I had, an illustrator is Marjolaine Bastine. And I just put a piece of um, sheet, uh, like music from a, a music book, I just put on here, distressed it. There's some writing on here too, and made um, a little pocket. So here's the back side. There's the other lace. And I, I decided with my lace, because I sewed it on mine, and it was so sloppy and really hard to do, I just decided to button, put a button to hold the lace tab. And I really actually like that idea a lot. Um, this pocket from an uh, Edith Holden book, I stitched, put some lace on the bottom. The other side of that eco-dyed paper and this one and here I did a pocket this is from Marjolaine Bastine as well from an agenda I had so I put some lace and made it into a pocket and <clears throat> I had to reinforce these pages I had three pages from this book and they were starting they're pretty fragile in the middle 
So on the, I just decided to put a piece of some coffee stained paper to kind of reinforce it so it wouldn't come apart. So here's the back and I already showed that. So that's that one. <clears throat> and then this one I put on this lace. I love this lace. And again, this page and again this and I had to like fix it again and it looks like I have a tiny tear so I'm gonna have to do something about that too. A doily in this one and this page with the poetry and a woman's journal page and an owl coloring book page, coffee stained. This is a dictionary page and I just, I did actually green distress ink around it. I used peeled paint and then I also used the <clears throat> vintage photo. Eco-dyed paper. In this one, I left some of the petals. These are rose petals and I just left them in it. And this is a children's book. And then this is another Marjolaine Bastine. And I just made a tuck spot with the bunnies. And here's the middle of the page. And this one is sewn as well. And just a nature journaling page. And continue on. <clears throat> There's the back side of that dictionary page. It has a bird on it. And this I took Elizabeth Holden, Edith Holden, and I put, I sewed it, I put a piece of ribbon, and it's a little tuck away pocket. And there's another, um, the button for the tab, the lace tab, and that's all that one has. So I have to put some things in here yet for tuck spots. <clears throat> some some of the bigger ones I'm going to put in before I sew it in. And I want to do some stamping and I'm going to do some mod decoupage on from napkins and stuff on each of these so they each have a page. This one I did the eyelet lace back and front sewn again. And tracing paper, construction, writing, the map book. Some more eco paper. This is the book, and again, I had to reinforce um, this book. But I put the owl ribbon here, and here's a little lace tab. And I think these are vintage buttons. They're all really old looking buttons. Here I put a little lace and a little tuck spot. There's some more of a nature journal. <clears throat> Here's this one, Marjolaine Bastine again. And this time, instead of pockets, it's just a little tuck spot. And I'll probably put something on here to make it a little bigger so it can hold something a little better. There's this lace tab. And more coffee stain paper. And this is the from the woman's journal. Here I put on a little pocket. So like this, and I sewed a little piece of that bird, owl's actually, owl ribbon across the top. And my other eco dyed, as you can see, and that just finishes up that one. And then the last <clears throat> insert, Out of the Storm, again, the book. Oh, I knew I had to glue another one. You know, I had it already like to do cut and I couldn't find I couldn't find the page like to do it so there it is so let me just do that quick and then I'll show you the rest of this but yeah I was like oh I can't where did it go well it was the cover which is why I didn't didn't recognize it so I guess that makes sense, right? But yes, it definitely needs, it's gonna have to be on the inside though because this is the insert and I don't want it on the outside. So I'm just gonna put it right about there, right about here, <clears throat> and just press that down so that it's nice and 
ready. It looks like I a little bit close here. Okay. And then um, if it's lit like it's up a little bit here, I'll I just come in with some just come in with a little bit of this and that will help it to like stick a little better because I do want it to stick good and if nothing else you know this is the inside I can use some washi to help this um, out so that'll make this page um, a little bit stronger and then all I do, obviously I'm going to have to put something over that, um, is fold this back to the middle right here and just go ahead and crease it and then crease it. And as you can see, some of this is coming up, but I'll fix that later. I'm not going to take the time to like fix it now because I want to show you the rest of this. But I did want to at least get it firm in there where it needs to be. So there it is. So this goes in here and much the same as uh, the other inserts. Here's the eco dyed page. Again with some of the petals. This is a writing all over this music page. I love that, that there's writing everywhere. Another little uh, Marjolaine Bastine made it into a tuck spot and sewed that, just that part. I sewed this onto this dictionary page, so another little tuck spot. And let's see, owl page and poetry and this. <clears throat> and here's the middle, the same thing. Just the pockets in the middle. And I just need to see if I did anything special back here. There's the tab, the doily, here's the eco dyed, and oh, okay, I'm like, what? <laughs> a tuck spot with a Edith Holden page and some of that ribbon there. And that's that one. Okay. So there they are, those are the inserts. Now the things I'm going to put on the pages, I'll just show you a few of the things. I'm going to do um, collaging with this little guy. And also um, this. And with some of the Tim Holtz collage paper. So that I'll be doing some of that. I'm going to be doing some tuck spots, um, different things with some of these Tim Holtz botanical, naturals, nature things. Put those in as well. Here's some things I made. I'll show you. I made, like I did in mine, I made this page to write on. So I stamped on it a couple flowers and butterflies coffee stain paper on the back and stitched all around. So I got that from a magazine actually, uh, real simple I think. And it tucks in here, this is a treat bag. And so I just put a little butterfly and a Tim Holtz sprays and some lace. So that's that. Then I did this, I did this in mine too. <clears throat> Took some bow bunny paper and put on did a little uh, lace collage and put a butterfly on, die cut, and a butt soda button on. And then this is just for a journaling tag. This is the bow bunny paper with a eyelet and um, some lace. And that will get adhered to a page as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this will be at the front of the book for the person who buys it. It'll be in there so they have this little butterfly. And it's really cool. It's like a two-dimensional, three-dimensional butterfly. And then I have this empty card so you can like write something in the card. Then I made this journaling page with the, I just sewed around. 
I backed um, some coffee stain ledger paper and sewed a zigzag stitch all around on this particular page. So that. Um, I did one of these. I had done this in my book too. So I just put a little butterfly up here and I put a little bird and brick brack and a Tim Holtz phrase. And then this is just for journaling. So it's just another bow bunny page, Tim Holtz word and a tiny butterfly. I seem to have a lot of butterflies in this particular journal. <laughs> here is from Elizabeth, uh, Eden, why do I keep saying Elizabeth? Eden, Edith Holden. And I just backed it with some coffee dyed paper so it can be tucked in somewhere and used to write on. And here's a bookmark, same thing, Edith Holden, backed with some of that coffee dyed paper and some twine for that part. Um, I made uh, some collages like I did last time with fabric. Um, the person who I've seen do this a lot, do fabric collages a lot, is Nazzy from Amity Bloom. So I've got uh, this lace from a tablecloth and this lace from a curtain. And this is just some eyelet gathered like lace and some crocheted style lace and this brick brack and I sewed a button on it. So I sewed it together um, by hand because it was, I just made sure I caught all the pieces. So that's one and that'll go on a page. And then I did this one. <clears throat> so it's some, um, somebody actually gave me this piece. And then I put on this little bit of trim and this brick brack as well, which I thought I had going this way, but apparently it's gonna go that way. Um, here's some more lace, the eyelet lace and an old button on top. Then I did these, and I believe it was Jabed, I can't remember her name, but she does junk journals. And she does these with transparency or acetate, but hers, um, on hers, she does, um, like, it's a slide. So she has a whole thing of paper around it to make it a slide, and, um, I decided not to do that. Um, I have to trim this. I just felt like uh, for me, I would rather just leave it simple and decorate it instead. There we go, it was a bit crooked. Okay, so I decided uh, instead, my idea is to um, take what did I do with those brads? What I did is I put in a little sticker. And so it's only one sided because it's going to be against a page. It's, you're not going to see the other side. And I sewed in a piece of eyelet lace and I did this zigzag. And then I punched a hole <clears throat> and I'm going to put this little brad and I'm going to stick it to one of the pages. So it'll be a decoration. And this one, I did a butterfly and a piece of lace. And this one, I did a um, acorn and a leaf and a piece of brick brack. So they'll all get attached to the page. So that's my plan. And we will see how it goes. I'm hoping to be done by, have this done and up for sale by the end of next week, like the weekend. So, um, but I'll let you know and I'll give a heads up when I do the flip through. Anyway, thanks um, for watching and I'll hopefully stop in again and show you some more work on this. Okay, bye.